Hey there, this is John Lexo from Pro Sectorials, and in this video I'm going to explain how you can remove this really annoying line that appears on the footer section of your website, which is exactly this section right below on your website that says proudly powered by WordPress. And I'm going to explain two ways. The first one is the easiest way possible for you to remove this. And it's easy because you actually don't need to edit the coding of your website. So if you are starting out, this is real ideal for you because you don't need to do anything really complicated. And the only reason why you may want to choose the second way is if you don't want to install more plugins into your WordPress website. Because the first way I'm going to explain, I'm actually going to install a plugin so I can remove this section on my website. Okay, so I'm going to explain the first way. So the first thing that you need to do is go to your WordPress dashboard. And once you are here, you want to go to the plugin section. Just go to plugins and add new. And now on the search box, I just write custom CSS. Because I'm just going to write some CSS coding so I can remove that line on my website. And the plugin that I want to install is this one, Simple Custom CSS, a really fantastic plugin. has five stars and a lot of installs already done. So I'm just going to press install now and press activate in this next page. Once this is done, what you want to do is you want to go to add CSS. And now you want to write some coding, something really simple. And I'm actually going to include this coding in the description of my video so you can simply copy and paste it on this section of your website. So what you want to write is set-info and then you want to put display none just like this. So go to the description of my video so you can simply copy and paste it, this to your website. And now I'm just going to press update custom CSS. And actually I'm going to my website. And once I go over there, you can see that I no longer have that, that annoying line appearing on the footer section of my website. And this is the easiest way possible for you to remove this line from your website. Okay, so now let's talk about the second way for you to remove this powered by WordPress line. And this way, in this second way, you need to edit the coding of your website. And for you to do that, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard. And once you are here, you go to appearance and you choose the editor option. Once you do that, you can see that you have several files and these are files that belong to your website. This is where all of the the HTML, CSS, and PHP coding of your website is integrated. But the one that you want to choose so you can edit the footer section of your website is this one that is called footer.php. So you want to click on this file, footer.php. And this is all of the coding that is in the footer section of your website. You can see that it says probably powered by WordPress. And it's this line that you can see over here, proudly powered by WordPress. But what you want to do first, and it's really important for you to do this, you simply want to select all of this different coding, copy it, and paste it on a blank notepad. The reason why you want to do this is if you mess something up in this coding, which you certainly don't want to do, but if in case that happens, at least you will have a backup with the right coding so you can once again um, so you can once again recover the information that you had over here now what you want to delete and always pay close attention to what you are deleting over here is simply this whole section this whole section over here is exactly this coding that is appearing on this section so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything and just delete and it's just this piece of coding. You don't want to remove anything else. So it's this piece of coding that is saying probably powered by 2016, which is the theme that I'm using for this website. And then it, it's the um, this is the link for 
my website. So I'm going to remove this section just like this. Now I'm going to press edit file. Once I do this, you can see that I no longer have that line appearing on my footer section. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a copyright to my website. So for me to do that, I go once again back to the coding and where I actually deleted everything just right below where I deleted all of that section is where I'm going to add a paragraph and this is how you write a paragraph in in HTML coding. So I'm going to write a paragraph and I'm going to add an and. Actually I'm going to close the paragraph which I forgot. I'm going to add an and copy so I can include the copyright symbol and then I'm going to put 2016 and now I'm going to open a link because I want to do a link back to my website. So I'm going to write a href and now inside of quotes I need to add the link to my home page which is this one. So you want to add the link to your main page over here. Now I'm going to close the brackets and over here I'm going to put the anchor test that I want appearing on this link which is ProSatorials and I'm going to close the link and also the paragraph just like this. So This is the coding that you want to integrate inside of your footer section and make sure to add the, the URL of your front page and also over here on the anchor test you can put the name of your website or whatever you want. Actually I wrote this wrong. But I'm going to try to include this information in the description from this video so you can more easily see it and possibly even copy and paste it on your website. So now I'm just going to update this file, refresh my website and you can see that now I have this copyright symbol which is basically this this piece of coding that I integrated over which is actually creating this symbol then 2016 Pro Site Tutorials and once someone clicks on this link they are taken to the front page of my website. So that's how you can remove the power by WordPress line and integrate uh, the, the copyright for your website. So that is all for this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoy and if you want to receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, about SEO, how to make money online and much more. So stay there and stay tuned with Pro Site Tutorials and bye. Let's go.